and welcome to Zebra Crochet. I'm Aubrey and I am here to teach you all the wonderful things about crochet. Um, so first of all we're going to start out with um, basics. So our hooks, we have, um, this is a full set. This one, if you look on here, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get it to focus. This very faintly says 2.0 millimeters. There we go. Okay. Um, and it is a tiny, tiny hook. Okay. Um, and then it goes up by about half millimeters. So all the way up to this is a 8.0 um, millimeter. Um, and it is a really big hook. And so each hook size, you would use different kinds of yarn. Um, so if you're going to go and you're going to buy yourself a hook, buy yourself, I use these three the most. These three. This is a 4.0, or sometimes they're um, marked as letters. And so this is um, an F, is a 4.0. Um, and then we have a 4.5. So this is a G, and this one is a five, and this is um, an H. These are the ones you're gonna see used the most. Um, this one is actually my favorite um, size. I have so much so that this one used to have zebra um, on it, like these other ones, but uh, I used it so much that it came off. Um, so, okay, so the next thing, let's move these out because it is not focusing very well. Let's see. There we go. So, the size of this hook, um, and then this one is the same size, okay? But if you look on the sides, you see there's a, a big difference. This one has um, more of a shelf or uh, it's not round, it's very flat. If you look at the front, it's flat, and the hook is flat, um, but if you look at this side, this one here, this one is more rounded. This is the one that I like the best. I feel like um, this hook piece doesn't catch on the yarn as, as badly, as this one um, and then it'll catch and then you have a big loop and um, it just isn't pretty so um, I try not to use these ones but do whatever works best for you um, get the hook I have so many hooks it's different sizes different brands and then I've just figured out which ones I like the best and I like this is Susan Bates this is that's what the name the brand name is called Susan Bates and this one is a boy, B-O-Y-E. Um, and so are these ones. So I just like them better. Um, these ones are also, the zebra ones are also boy. Um, I just like them better. I like that they s slide better. They don't grab on, um, things like that. So if you're gonna go buy a hook, buy um, any a four, a 4.5 or a 5. Those are the those are the basic ones that we're going to be using um, to learn how to crochet. Okay. Now we need to talk about yarn. So I have here. This is my absolute favorite brand. If you ask me to crochet you something, this is what I'm going to turn to. Um, Karen Simply Soft. Okay. Now if you look at the side here. It shows you, it tells you exactly what's here. So this is a four. That's how um, thick the ply is, okay? This one over here, if you look at it, this one is a three, okay? And the ply is much different. If you look at the two sizes, let's see if I can do this. You see, 
they are very different in widths okay and then we have this one this is a lace um, really pretty lace uh, material that my mother bought for me to make something for her um, and you see how much smaller that is okay even compared to this one so um, when you buy yarn you want to get one that says on the side it says four um, they will have it's it's pretty much basically standard that you have um, your weight here and then it tells you what size hook you want um, this one is knitting needles in this uh, we're not even going to talk about that so um, this one calls for an H8 and it says if you can see it let's see there we go it says five millimeters it tells you exactly what you're looking for okay and the same with this one this one's also going to call for a five millimeter now even though they're different widths you can use the same size hook you're going to get different size stitches if you use a larger hook you're going to get larger stitches if you use a smaller hook you're going to get smaller stitches so it really depends on um, what you're looking for as far as um, is not uh, okay so um, it really really truly just does depend on what what kind of what size you're looking for um, we'll talk about gauge later although I don't usually use gauge um, unless you're making clothing of some sort which I try really hard not to do um, just because I can't I can't create as well um, with that as I can with um, other things I make hats and scarves and skirts but I try not to do tops um, okay so we will this is the same brand this blue which is what I'm gonna use is the same brand as this it just doesn't have the paper on it okay now I pull I have one side that's coming around the outside and I'm going to tuck that in I wrap whatever's excess around and then I just tuck the end in see okay and then I pull from the middle I try to always pull from the middle it makes less of a mess and it's less um, you don't have to stop and unroll things as much um, as if you pull from the outside and that is also preference you do what you think is better okay whatever you do normally um, or try different kinds and see what you like better okay so we're gonna talk picking hook sizes um, hold on okay so we'll just do these this lace one and the blue one okay so the blue one it calls for a five millimeter hook which will absolutely work it will absolutely work what I do to find what size hook I want if I don't have the paper see this one doesn't have paper but that one does I don't know that this is a five millimeter I would take my hook and I would just loop it around like this and I look at um, where does the hook the tip of the hook fall according to where how much sorry how much hook is showing when I have my loop okay you see there is there's quite a bit showing the hook part past the yarn okay um, this is the hook that I tend to use with this it's a four millimeter I just like it um, I get tighter stitches um, but again it's preference you do what you um, what you want how you uh, how you like it you just mess around with it and you figure it out okay so that's this size now if I had this tiny like lace yarn 
going to go like this. And do you see how much, um, how much yarn is there? Now this lace yarn says to use um, a four millimeter hook, but um, for me that is even too big. So I would probably go down to, um, this is a three and a half, or even down to a three. even down to a three um, and this is going to give me nice tight stitches okay now this also this lace yarn is wool so you have to be careful because it will shrink in the wash um, okay so other tools we have yarn you can get go to Michaels go to Joanne go to you know wherever your AC more whatever your your yarn store is and you're going to get a skein of yarn it's going to look like this okay or it'll have the paper on it okay oh this one came from um this is yarn b it's from hobby lobby um my mother goes and she buys it on sale because she's smart um okay so you're going to get a yarn I would try to stick with the four. I wouldn't go much bigger than, um, remember when it's on this paper, when it says four, I wouldn't go much bigger because then you're talking about really big hooks. Um, and that's not conducive to learning yet. We will get there. Um, so you're going to get a skein of yarn. You're going to buy a hook. You're going to pick. Um, you just need one. You don't have to have as many as I have. Um, so you're going to pick one. I have a four here, a four, five, and a five. Okay. Usually you buy them and they don't have any covers on them. They're just like this, which is perfectly fine. You can cover it. You can work with it without a cover. Um, and then you can buy ones that have the cover. It really just kind of depends on what you um, what you like and how you like to do your crochet. Okay, so we're going to get yarn and we're going to get a hook. I'm going to use my four. The other supplies you need is scissors, any kind of scissors. They could be sewing scissors, they could be paper scissors, they could be whatever. Just make sure they cut really well. Okay, so scissors. I have these ones because they have a less than an inch blade. I can take these on an airplane and I don't have to worry about Oh my goodness, I have to get a new pair of scissors, okay? You will need or might need a tape measure, okay? To measure how tall your things are. And then I have um, needles. Um, you Again, you don't need as many needles as I, need, as I have. Um, all you really need is one of these. It is, um, nice, it has a nice long, or a nice wide barrel okay a dull point it doesn't have a sharp um, go through fabric point you because you're just going into the yarn um, and then it has a nice big eye that you can get um, all different sizes of yarn through okay so we have our yarn we have our hook we have our tape measure just in case and then I have my darning needle or my, this is not a darning needle. This is just a yarn needle. Okay. Now let's, um, so that's, let's see, that's the basics. That's, these are the supplies you're going to need. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can get, you can get Karen Simply Soft at Michael's for like $3 and you can buy a hook for like $4, uh, the more expensive ones. Um, these ones here, the ones without the cover on them, are, um, oh, they're probably like $2, 2 or $3. So that's $6. And then you can have, you can use scissors that you already have at home. You don't have to have special scissors. Um, so there you go. That's your, your yarn. And then on our next uh, video, we will talk, we will start crocheting. 
Um, so thanks for putting up with me. And I'm going to try and make my videos shorter from now on. But this was an introduction video. So um, we will... So there was more to cover. Um, thanks for watching. And have a great day.